Hi, I'm Smoking Elk, and today we are cooking firecracker chicken. <laughs> I'm doing firecracker chicken today. I'm still here in the rain. This is traditionally a Korean dish. Probably not traditionally a Korean dish, actually. This is a dish that's probably more westernised than anything. It is hot, spicy chicken. Now, normally it would be little bites of chicken, hot and spicy with kind of like a, a Frank's, a buffalo kind of hot sauce all over there with some chilli flakes and stuff. So I don't know how Korean this is, but I'm calling it Korean. So what we're gonna do with this, I'm gonna spatchcock this chicken and cook it direct on the Kamado Joe here. I'm gonna be using my Thermopen dot to monitor the temperature throughout the cook. If you don't know what one of these is, this is this has a temperature probe on it that you leave in the meat. And it's gonna tell me the temperature of my meat throughout the cook, so you don't have to keep opening the lid. You don't have to cut into it. You don't have to give it another 10 minutes just in case it's not ready yet. This will tell me when it's ready. I've set an alarm on there for 70 degrees. Chicken safe to eat at 73, but because I'm cooking this nice and direct and nice and hot and fast, it will actually rise once we take it off and it will get past that 73 number. So first thing we wanna do is spatchcock this chicken and then we're gonna get some seasoning on there. Seasoning, I'm just gonna go with some oil, salt, pepper, and I've got this, I'm gonna to attempt to say it, Gokujaru, 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 Korean red pepper flakes. So we're gonna put some of those on there as well. So let's crack on and do that, because it's raining and we need to hurry up. Yes, it is raining, so we are going to be quick. Yes, I have got this behind me, but we are set up here, so the show must go on. We are doing it here. So there's my chicken prepared. We've got oil, salt, pepper, Korean chili flakes on there. Like I said, we're going to be using a thermopen dot to monitor the temperature throughout the cook. Got my Kamado Joe set up for direct cooking. The grates are high enough, far enough away from the charcoal to enable that. And we're going to pop this in. We're going to put the probe in there. And we're just going to let this cook. It's going to take around about an hour, but again, we don't cook the time. We cook the temperature. So I'll take it off at 70 degrees. Once this beeps at 70, we take it off, probably flip it once or twice, build up a nice colour on there. Then when it's done, we're going to come back and we're going to make our firecracker sauce. And I'm also going to do a side dish for you as well. So let's crack on with the chicken. So the chicken is done and I've made the firecracker sauce to go with it. Like I said, I don't know how authentic it is, but for the sauce, we've gone in with some butter. We've got some Frank's hot sauce in there, some cayenne hot pepper sauce, kind of with a load of sugar. We've got some uh, gokujari uh, chili flakes, Korean red chili flakes. We've gone in with a bit of sugar in there as well, giving that a good old stir, some salt in there. And we've brushed it on the underside of the chicken and we poured it over the top of the chicken. Now I'm going to make a little side to go with it. 
uh, which is basically, it's called Oi Minchin, I believe, um, which is basically um, toasted sesame seeds, cucumber, spring onion. Um, so all we take is some sliced cucumbers into a bowl. And then I have a spring onion and a couple of cloves of garlic. So they just go into a bowl. This is really quick and easy, this one. And then into that bowl, two tablespoons soy sauce. That's one, two. Well, two teaspoons of sesame oil. And then we're gonna go in with two teaspoons of sesame seeds. Toasted would be best, but I didn't have time to toast them. So you're getting untoasted in this one, but if you can toast them or we buy toasted ones, buy toasted ones. And this is just something to have on the side, something to cut through. It's good with barbecue, with, with like Korean barbecue beef and all that kind of stuff as well. It will cut through the richness. Um, and that really is nice and simple. How easy was that? So that's that done. It's the firecracker chicken done. I've taken it off at 70 degrees. You've seen it was 70 degrees. The Thermopen dot has told me it was 70 degrees. Spot checked it as usual with the Thermopen, and again, it's showing me it's 70. It's risen now, it's been resting. It's now sat at 73. We've obviously got that firecracker sauce all over it, so we're gonna put it on the board, we're gonna slice in and see exactly how we've done, and then we're gonna put that sauce back over it once we sliced in, and then come back and have a taste. And there we go, we slice into that chicken. You've seen how juicy it is because we cooked it to the perfect temperature. So this looks great. We're gonna pour the rest of that sauce back over the chicken, like so. It's gonna be nice and sticky, sweet, spicy. And that is it. There's my firecracker chicken with the toasted sesame cucumber side on a smoking elk. Thanks very much for watching. I'm gonna grab that bit. I'll see you again soon.